any movie with director Christopher Nolan's name attached to it becomes a must-see for film fans. And his latest epic, Oppenheimer, is no different. Killian Murphy plays J. Robert Oppenheimer, seen as the father of the atomic bomb. Well, I got the chance to attend the London premiere and meet the rather starry cast. <laughs> director Christopher Nolan brings to the screen his most ambitious movie yet. It's an epic thriller that delves deep into the character of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb. It has epic drama, intense storytelling and of course a stellar cast. So how do they feel to be a part of it? I mean, this is what we make it for, you know. This is, the film isn't finished until the audiences watch it. Yeah, and what do you want the audience to take away from it? I mean, it's, it's not up to me. It, I, you know, it's up to the audiences, and that's what the movie does. It poses a lot of questions. It, like, it, it demands you to stay involved, and, it, and I think it rewards you, you know. We imagine a future. And our imaginings horrify us. It's almost like a horror film. Would you yeah, say that's accurate? Yeah, thriller, horror, you know, biopic. Um, there's a romance. There's, there's everything in it, really. I think, you know, it's really, for me, about story, wherever it comes from, whether it's history, whether it's fiction. When I looked at Oppenheimer's story, I found the most dramatic story that I've ever encountered. And so I felt very driven to try and dive into that world and, and bring it to the screen. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Chances are near zero. Near zero. What do you want from theory alone? Zero would be nice. <laughs> I'm part Scottish, you know. Oh, are you? Yeah, very nice. yeah, the good part. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. <laughs> but we do bring the rain. We do, we always yeah. do. Congratulations on an epic movie. I mean, you. you got all the best trailer lines, didn't uh, yeah. you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I had some good lines. Chris wrote me some good ones. Why? Why? How about because this is the most important thing that ever happened in the history of the world? It's a really easy line to say because because I believe it, you know, and uh, and and I and I believe it's standing here today, and it's like it's amazing that we spend any time thinking of anything other than this, you know. It's it's uh, it's such a big idea, and uh, and and has such implications for all of our lives. It's it's wonderful. It's such a magnificent film. I'm so excited for everyone to see it. It is it's awesome. This is a matter of life and death. I can perform this miracle. World War II would be over. Our boys would come home. That's happening, isn't it? I'm really honored to be in it, and I felt that watching it. I was so floored when I saw it. It was, it was just... It's a bone shatterer. It's so cool. It's got a lot going on. He was a very complicated man, and we tried to jump in his head for a few hours and, and live as he did and hopefully come to understand him somewhat, but not necessarily judge him. But the film is definitely going to leave people, I think, with some unsettling questions. I mean, it was a big responsibility, but it was a dream. Any actor in the world would want to work for Chris, but to play a lead was like, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. You know, have a couple of those in your career, I think. The world. Well, remember this day. Our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. Until somebody builds a bigger one. That's just what Chris attracts. Like, it, people run to work with him to do a scene or a moment or anything. And when he asked to meet me, I was already like, it's a yes, I don't need to read the script. And I think everyone feels the same. They know they're going to be a part of something rare and something ambitious, and that's just what he does. It's, it's a really ambitious idea. Again, like I did Interstellar with him, that was a very ambitious idea. I, I read his scripts, and I always am really moved by them, and I get to the end, and I go, I have no idea how he's going to do it. Um, and I, it's, a, it's a privilege to be able to watch him work. I think that he's just somebody who is gathering and gathering the accumulation of experience, skill, 
and his intelligence and filmmaking abilities are, are sort of adding, rather like in physics, a sort of quantum kind of exponential growth to it. And he meets something that he's big enough for and is big enough for his filmmaking ambitions, and it's an exciting combo.